A 1.6 kilogram rock is dropped from height 50 meters with what speed would it strike the ground and ignore air resistance? The first step is to summarize the information given. The mass of the rock is 1.6 kg. Initial speed is 0 meters per second since the rock is dropped and not thrown. Initial height 15 meters. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Final height is 0 meters. And we're looking for the final velocity. Step 2 is to write down the formula. Initial potential energy plus initial kinetic energy equals to final potential energy plus final kinetic energy. This formula can be further expanded into this format. Since the rock's initial velocity is zero, you can see the rock's po initial potential energy is also zero. To isolate the variable we're looking for, final velocity, we need to minus mgh2 from each side of the equation, giving us half mv squared equals to mg height 1 minus mg height 2. Multiplying 2 on each side and dividing m from each side, we have final velocity squared equals to 2g times height 1 minus height 2. Taking the square root from each side, we have final velocity equals to the square root of 2g times height 1 minus height 2. Plugging in the numbers, we have the square root of 2 times 9.8 meter per second square times 50 meters minus 0 meters, giving us the final, final velocity of 17 meter per second. Performing the unit check, we have square root of meter per second square times meters, which is square root of meter squared over second square, which simply is meter per second. 